Hey, welcome to Coding Demos. In this tutorial, we will learn how to align two buttons on the same row. So let me open up the emulator and show you guys just an overview an idea of what we will be building in this tutorial. Uh, we open the emulator. So as you can see here, we have uh, so many buttons and they're all aligned on the same row. So we can actually achieve this uh, by uh, doing it in two ways. Uh, the first way is using uh, a relative layout. The second way is using uh, a linear layout with horizontal orientation. So let's open up, uh, let's create a new Android Studio project. Uh, create new one. And then we give it a name of, let's say, button example and then we we'll click next we'll proceed next next and we we'll click on finish wait for it to build up okay build is complete now let's head to the activity underscore main and then we we'll remove the hello world and uh, and then we need to add the first one which is two buttons uh, on the same line right so we have button one on the left side and button 2 on the right side so let's do that first okay now we'll, we'll go to the text section and then we'll since the root is relative layout we're cr we'll create another layout uh, it will be a relative layout uh, we'll choose the relative from the layout section drag it to the screen here and then we'll add buttons two buttons so you can just drag them anywhere for now and then we we'll align them later on so let's say we need to one uh, one button on the left and one button on the right okay uh, let's open up the text section and then okay I see the buttons are already aligned inside the relative layout that's great uh, now let's give uh, this layout an ID because we will need to reference that later on. So it's Android, then ID, ID, and then I will give this uh, relative layout. Okay. Uh, all right. So let's go to the design. So now we have the first, the first one, the first way of doing it through relative layout. So we have the buttons aligned perfectly. Uh, another, th another thing is we need to reduce the the height of the layout so that we can give uh, some space to the other buttons. So we can actually do that through here. So you can see Android layout height. So we'll change that to uh, wrap content. Let's go to the design. Okay, that's good now. Uh, first thing, uh, now the first way of doing it is done. Now we'll need to uh, add the another buttons through a linear layout. So let's open up the emulator. So we have here we have achieved the first method of, of adding the buttons on the same row through a relative layout. Now the second buttons, this will be using uh, a linear layout with horizontal orientation. So let's do that. Uh, we'll drag in a linear layout with horizontal uh, orientation. Drag it here. And then we'll add two buttons, right? Button one and button two. So let's go to the text section and then we'll edit those buttons. Uh, let's, uh, let me just remove the, uh, the margin top go to the design okay and then we need to uh, change the layout height of the linear layout so instead of match parent it will be wrap content okay looks looks good now the, the other thing is we need to uh, make those two buttons have an equal width so we do that by going to the linear layout route and then add in a go to the buttons 
I would say Android uh, layout. I will just say Android weight. And then there you have it. Android layout underscore weight. Choose that, and then we'll give it a uh, one. Right. So you can see here, it says that I need to change the layout width of zero because I'm giving a weight of one. So in instead of layout width for the button, we'll change that from wrap content to zero dp. Okay. Now let's go to the design and see how it looks like. All right. You can see here the button just. Uh, it had more space or it, it, it in more space and uh, it squeezed the other button to the right side now we need to go to the text section again and then we need to give a layout width for this button as well so take this I'm not sure why we have this style here small button let's remove this okay now we'll go to the design section again okay now changed let's go to the the match instead of match it should be so oh so this is width right so instead of wrap content it would be 0 dp the same thing for the other button we we'll go to the design there you have it guys so we are aligned two buttons and we made them have an equal width so they look perfect inside the screen so that this is one way another one is uh, based on the emulator we have we need to align those buttons and make them align in the center so align those buttons on the same row and they position them position them in the center of uh, of that of that row right so we'll do that by adding another linear layout with horizontal orientation drag it here all right and then we'll add two buttons button one oh sorry let me button one and then we have another one all right okay uh, another thing is we need to reduce the height of this layout so I'm not sure. Okay, we did have an ID for this, so we'll uh, look for. Okay, it's it's already positioned below that. That's perfect. Uh, now we'll go to the uh, the height, the layout wood layout height of the linear layout, and change that to wrap content. Okay, that's good. Another thing is you can see we have space on the right side right so we need to remove this space so we do that by going to this lay linear layout as well and then uh, look for the android layout width and change that from match parent to wrap content go to design okay so now there's no, there's no more space right now we can easily position those uh, uh, those buttons in the center so you don't actually go to each button and align them in the center you can actually do that in the uh, in the linear layout itself so whenever alignment you do here it will apply to these two buttons so we'll go to the android and then center horizontal then we make it true oops it's true so we'll go back to design Horizontal. I think. Oops. I think it's uh, center vertical. Should be true. Okay. Well, let's see why it didn't change. Align parallel. Oh, all right. I know. You see, we forgot to remove the Android layout parent left. So we will remove this, and then we go to design. Okay, that's weird should be ver it should be horizontal because we're using horizontal with we're using linear layout with horizontal orientation let's go to design all right okay that's great now it's position in the right uh, in the right in the right screen okay let's give a uh, space between them just to 
make it clear for you guys. So this linear layout, this is the last one, which have the two buttons. So we'll give them Android a margin top of 10 dp. Uh, let's give it 20 dp. And then uh, let me just copy this and then paste it in the other layout as well. So this is the second layout. Okay, so let's open up the design section again. All right, now it's, uh, now it looks good. So we'll compare it with the emulator. As you can see here, it looks really nice. All right, uh, let's just change the label. That uh, that's easily can be done. Uh, we'll have the buttons here, so it's button one. So instead of new button, this would be button one, and then. Uh, button 2 uh, let's extract the string resource for this okay do the same thing here and then we'll just copy this because it's the same label right so we'll go to Android text and then we paste it here and then for the second button We'll paste it here and then change from one to two. Then we'll do the same thing for the other buttons. This is one and this is two. Okay, we'll go back to the design again. There you go, guys. We officially created this. We may, we officially created these two, these buttons and align them perfectly in one line. So let's uh, let's run the app and see how it looks like on the emulator. So we have the emulators up in here. Let's just give it a run by clicking on the play button here or the run button. Choose the emulator that we're currently running and then click on OK. All right. So the app is fully deployed in the emulator. Uh, as you can, as you guys can see, we have those buttons aligned in one line. One is using a relative layout. And the other one is uh, using a uh, linear layout with horizontal orientation. All right, that's it for this tutorial. If you guys like what you see, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these awesome tutorials, please be sure to subscribe. Thanks again for watching and happy coding.